Hey, we're gonna continue the, uh, I suppose, the squatting series. So just, just in case you're new, doesn't, you don't need to go back to the beginning, it's okay, you can do it later if you want. I got three towels here folded up, okay? That's all I got here. And I got my feet about, you know, that width. So, just wanna give you an update on how this is going and provide some, I suppose, progressions so that you can go further. And just, just talk about what I've done so far. So I've been doing basically this little maneuver, getting out my little three tail thing here and squatting down on it about 10 times a day uh, until I, you know, I'll just squat until I just don't feel like squatting anymore, you know couple of minutes, three minutes, something like that. And yeah, the, the progress has been really nice, for sure. Um, so I just wanna show you some things that you can do. While you're down here, you can kind of put your arms back here for a bit. Just put your fingertips down. You can do that. Just start, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, my weight's a bit on my heels now. And just try and kind of use your thoracic spine to uh, push up. You can, oh, this one's really good, right? You uh, monkey grip your, your, your arms like this, put it around your knees, and then squeeze like this and squeeze your hips and squeeze your glutes all at the same time. <sighs> yeah. Whew. That one's good, right? Because you really want to and just give like there's certain muscles that work in the squat and while you're down here you just want to give them an extra bit of squeeze like your thoracic spine you need to give that up. <sighs> Those out of squeeze, right? Um, you want to give your these a bit of a squeeze, and you can you can actually give them a squeeze just by leaning back, right? Like you can you can give them a break by going forward a bit, and then you can you can make them work harder by leaning back. And if you can't, you know, squat, it's kind of because like mostly because of these things, aren't huh? Able and the and and the thoracic spine and the hips hip flexors aren't able to to hold it. That's why we give those a squeeze. So you can try to give your glutes a squeeze. That's pretty difficult. You just give them a squeeze. Okay, I'll just go while you're down there. Like to give your hips a squeeze. You know, to, that would involve going like ugh, like bringing your spine closer to your leg there, right? Right? There's, there's some more things you can do. Because doing a particular pose, like a squat, it's, you don't just want to focus on that one static position and practice that. Like you want to get the ability to move around down there and just do things, operate, change positions. It's like, you don't just want to have this dead end position <laughs> that you kind of like, well, I can I go from standing up and I go to squ sit squatting down and stay exactly there in a static position and then come up and that's all it's for. Nah, basically you would want to be able to walk around. Straight again. Okay, so you can do this. Oh, I've got a really good one, I'll show you. Now we're shifting our weight in a squatting position. We're balancing, we're coordinating. Check this one out, ready? Go like this, like this, and like um, push on your knees with your hands 
in the direction of your lower arm and it will stretch something. I'm not sure what. I think it's like, it could be the latissimus dorsi. I'm not 100% sure. But I really try to go like this. Like, grr. Like bring it inwards so you're like stretching this. I think it's the latissimus dorsi. I'm just not sure. So that's good. Also, there's this, right? Of course. Just come up a bit. So learn that position. Come up a bit, learn that position. You can do things like put your arms back and forward. That'll teach you coordination and mobility. Um, you can do this one. Just look up at the, the roof, point at the roof. That's all you have to think about. Um, you can put your knees forward and back. Ooh, take a break. Uh, Edwin showed me that you can't really stretch these apparently. He would he would hit them like to kind of get them to relax a bit. Let's just practice a bit of foot coordination here. Just keep this thing completely still. Move the foot around. stuff to do just while, while watching a movie. Okay, let's just go back for some more. You can um, move your head around. You can move your arms around. Try to get like, yeah, your oblique squeezing here, oblique squeezing here. You can go forward and back. You can even, you know, go up a bit. You can bounce. Pretty good, right? <laughs> like, there's obvious improvements going down. Mm, what else? You can go to one leg. point is like learning to move and experimenting <laughs> down there rather than just doing like one static pose and you can take that principle for all sorts of things like never try like in yoga they're always like bang here's a pose that's the pose and I'm not saying yoga is a bad thing I mean it's a it's a genius concept and some people are so good at it and far more knowledge about, about it than me. However, when you do yoga poses, why not learn the pose and move around a bit? Because if you don't have the ability to move around, it's just gonna make that pose develop so much slower because like your body's never gonna have any confidence in that, in that position at all because it can't actually do anything. Like anything outside that one little position is like, oh, the unknown and zero body ability. Okay, I think you get the point. 
Okay, thanks for watching. See you the next time.